I'm going to show you how to use OpenAI's text-to-speech endpoint. I'll be showing you how to do this within Postman itself, which is the easier road. And then I'm going to show you some of the code changes that I'm going to make within my mobile phone application to take it from a text-based chat application to more of an interactive voice app. If you don't yet have an account or know where to get started, I highly recommend you check out that previous video because I run you through the account setup process, setting up your API access key and showing you how to make actual calls. So if you haven't yet, go watch that previous video, then come back to this one because it'll make a lot more sense. We're going to start by heading over to the OpenAI developer platform. And on the left hand side, we want to go to text to speech. This is the endpoint that we're going to call. We're going to send through an input, which is the text we want it to convert into a natural sounding language. And then the response will be an audio.mp3 file by default. There are a few different voice options that we can choose from. Currently, there are six. I'm just going to go with the first one, which is Aloy. So let's start by making the API call. We're going to head over to Postman. We're going to make a post request to the OpenAI v1 audio speech endpoint. We're going to hit raw and we're going to paste this in. So we're going to use the TTS text to speech dash one model. The input is what we want it to convert. So hello, this is just a test. And we've specified the voice. Like I showed you in a previous video, don't forget to go to your authorization section and add in your API key bearer token in your headers and then click send. You'll get a 200 status response, but you'll see that the body is empty. Normally you would expect to see something like this, but because it's an audio file, what we have to do is hit save response, save to a file, give it a name. I'm going to call it test one and you want to do dot MP3 so that your computer knows it's an audio file. Now, if we go ahead, hit downloads and open that up. Hello, this is just a test. We can hear that it worked. So that's how we can make the request in Postman. Now that's cool, but it's just text to speech, right? We've had this tech available for quite a long time. Where it gets fun and exciting is when you start to combine all of these different API endpoints together. So at the moment, we have our mobile phone application, Sassy GBT, which is a complete smart ass, right? It just tears you to shreds and, and it can really roast you. Now it's built using the chat completions API endpoint, right? You ask it a question and it's really mean, sassy and rude in its response. So what we're going to do is we're going to combine the chat API endpoint, grab the response it gives, and instead of just displaying text back to the user, we're going to take that response and use the voice API endpoint to turn the roast into actual audio that we can hear out loud so that you can get roasted out loud and the AI can hurt your feelings in more ways. Let's have a look first what this would look like in Postman because that's a lot easier. We're going to call the chat completions endpoint and we're going to say be really mean and we're just going to ask it a question, am I pretty? Hit send. Uh, not really funny. Okay, that's third time's a charm. So we're gonna copy that content and paste that into our audio speech completion. Hit send. Save the response. Put our headphones on. I can't see you but I'm sure you have a face only a mother could love. Ouch. Now, obviously that was a bit fiddly, but you get the idea. So now we're going to make those changes on our backend in AWS using our Lambda function. What we're going to do is update our backend so that instead of returning the text response, it returns an audio file instead with that text converted into natural language. Quick disclaimer, I had a lot of trouble getting this to work in Lambda functions. So I'm gonna quickly show you something and then we're gonna do an example in Node.js locally on our machine as well, which would represent how you could do it in another type of backend. So let me open up this other Lambda function where I have it working. And we're just gonna open up VS Code because it's a lot nicer to walk through. I'm gonna quickly explain some of the code. So we're just grabbing an event and we're stepping through. So if you're sending two or three messages, it's just going to iterate through that. You don't really have to worry. 
the role, this is where we're telling it to be really mean, rude, and sassy in its responses. And this is where the magic happens. We're using the request library to hit the chat completion endpoint. We're sending through our API key. And we're using the GPT 3.5 Turbo model. And we're sending through the messages. Now, we are getting a response. And once we've got a 200, we're then taking that response that we get from the chat completions and we're calling that second API, which is the audio speech. Again, we're passing in the API key, buffer input. We're taking the data that we received from our previous response. Now where the tricky part comes in is when I called this through my Lambda function, I would get a 200 response, but the body was empty. I did a bit of digging online and I couldn't find a way to actually get an MP3 file directly from Lambda. It seems to only output text. So I started looking into MP3 base 64 encoding and decoding. Essentially, it would take binary text and convert that into a useful format that it could use to recreate an MP3 file. So if we have a look at our test event, we're going to send through what's the weather. We'll do a quick test and we get a 200 status code, but you'll notice this huge body of text. Essentially, that's base 64 encoded. What we have to do is then grab all of that text, either have a script locally that'll then re-encode that into an MP3 file or just use an online converter. Oh, and here's one I'm sorry. earlier to prove that. I'm I must have missed the memo that I'm also a weather app now. Maybe try looking out the window or checking your weather app for the latest updates. Now that's way too fiddly and I wanna figure out eventually how to get the MP3 file directly through AWS Lambda or API Gateway, or there has to be some way to technically do it, but I've already spent way too long trying to figure it out already for this video. So instead of a backend Lambda function, here's a Node.js app example where we're doing the exact same thing locally from our PC. So what we're doing is we're using the OpenAI third-party library. We are bringing in our API key from this particular file here. We're saying, when you create the mp3 file we want to create it in the speech.mp3 file within the same folder and we've got a function so the function is going to call two api endpoints the first is the chat completions so we're going to say we're going to give it that system awareness to be really mean and funny and we're going to tell it hey you're featuring in this youtube video it will then give us that text response which is defined here we're also going to log it to the output but we're going to take that response and we're going to input that into our audio speech create endpoint. That's going to generate the mp3 file for us and place it within the folder. So let's go ahead and open up our shell terminal and run the app. <laughs> oh, it can be really mean sometimes. There is a witty response, and here it is in speech. Oh, great. Can't wait to be the star of a video that will probably be seen by your three subscribers. Burn. So, to recap, we combined two API endpoints to get some great responses from the AI initially, and then to also convert that into text. I had a lot of fun making this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I would like to know, would you guys like me to integrate this concept into the app so we can have that chat directly with the AI? Or would you like me to explore how we can add this into things like Google Home and Amazon Echo devices? Let me know your preferences down below and I may make a video on it in the future. That's all I had for you guys today. I hope you're having a great day and I will catch you in the next one.